Juneteenth is the oldest nationally celebrated commemoration of the ending of slavery in the United States. The Queen City will have a three-day celebration. Twin States News' Donisha Branham has details on when and where this will take place. The Queen City's annual Juneteenth celebration commemorating the ending of slavery will be taking place right here once again on the City Hall lawn. Terrence Davis, the Cultural Affairs Coordinator, tells us what we can expect. This year's Juneteenth Festival is going to be very special and very different. This year we're doing three days, which is starting June the 17th through June the 19th. We celebrate Juneteenth because this is a day that the slaves were told that they were emancipated. The celebration kicks off on June 17th with the Black Business Expo at Dumont Plaza, and the celebration will continue on City Hall Lawn Saturday and Sunday. The celebration will continue on City Hall Lawn. Gates will open at 5 o'clock, and a concert will begin from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock with BNGB and Arthur Young. We want to make note that there have been some changes. There will be no coolers, no backpacks, no bags. Security will strictly be enforced. The event will wrap up on Sunday with a Jubilee celebration parade starting at Singing Breakin Park and ending at Temple Theater. We will also honor some of our trailblazers in the community that day immediately after the play and we ask everyone to come out, be a part, and be a part of celebrating, commemorating, and making sure that we are a community that bound together. Davis says that he hopes everyone comes out to attend the celebration and is happy to be able to have the celebration in the Queen City. I think it feels good. Any time that we can take the time to learn of each one's each one of our cultures, it brings us closer to our community and brings our community together because those things that we don't know, sometimes we're fearful of. And we don't have to be fearful of things that we know when we're coming together. We just need to open ourselves up and embrace each other in their different cultures. Donnie Shabranum, Twin States News, Meridian.